With fires as intense as the one we saw yesterday in South Park, the heat can actually make its own microclimate. Hard to believe, but it's true here. Meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees joins us. Brittany, the smoke plume yesterday looked like uh, it resembled a thunderstorm. Why is that? Well, if you ever heard the term cumulonimbus cloud, it's what we often refer to as a thunderstorm cloud. Well, this is called a pyrocumulus or cumulonimbus if there are actually thunderstorms associated with them. And these are actually just some examples of some from really intense wildfires across the country. All these images coming in from NASA and NOAA and some of the National Weather Service research facilities. So essentially, instead of a typical updraft that we have with a thunderstorm, you're getting that draft and that upward motion from all of the fire that you're dealing with. So that pretty much allows for this to form. You'll notice here fire happens at the ground. Eventually smoke kind of develops. We get a superheated updraft that again instead of moisture rising, it's really the hot air there from the fire rising that eventually hits cooler air at the higher levels of our atmosphere and allows for the hot air to condense and form cloud cover. Now fun fact, if you've ever you know flown through a cloud, things like that, the cloud droplets have to attach themselves to some kind of nuclei. Normally this is things like dirt and debris, but in a pyrocumulus or cumulonimbus cloud, this is typically things like smoke and ash. Now what eventually can happen is if all of this warm moist air kind of continues to draft upwards, we eventually can get thunder and lightning that officially changes it right to a pyrocumulonimbus cloud, but you can't have both or either. It's just dependent on if a thunderstorm forms or not. And what's even more interesting is that if this cloud develops and kind of rises totally high up in the atmosphere, it can hit the stratosphere and essentially the smoke can be carried by the jet stream to sometimes thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of miles. This can happen across the country even across the world. So if you've heard sometimes when we're talking about maybe a wildfire out west, but we can see smoke plumes here locally in the Carolinas, this is referred to Brad Vanessa Collin as a pyrocumulus or cumulonimbus club. Mrs. Uh, Miss Van Voorhees, <laughs> I have a question. Um, so this is why we saw it on radar yesterday. Exactly. Is that correct? So essentially okay. all of the moisture kind of rises, all of that hot, humid air rises, and it can kind of pick up like a typical thunderstorm cloud. It's just picking up on kind of the little smoke and kind of little droplets like that versus moisture like rain. Interesting. It's so interesting. And the fact that it can create lightning even, that's fascinating to me, Brittany. Yeah, it's similar thing to how sometimes, you know, you can get fire nados, things like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Caused by these clouds. Wow. We had a lot going on yesterday, let's just say oh, that. And the more you know, I mean, y'all are making us smarter. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Every single day absolutely. with these explanations. And, and we'll just remind folks too, if you haven't gotten into Weather IQ, you really should because you do learn something with every single segment. So you can actually find prior Weather IQs on the Weather IQ YouTube page. You can see the QR code there on your screen. Just scan that and it'll take you there. We hope you do like and subscribe. That way you don't miss any new content.